Okay, so this temperature is good now, but we could add a little bit more salt to the water because that will help the immune system of these brackish water okay, fish. We were very worried about losing all these fish. Now, unfortunately, we actually did lose one, but what had happened in this case is the heater had been out for a period of time. It's winter here in Australia and it got very cold and these fish got very sick and some of them were upside down and stressed and not looking good. Then the owners um, put in some warm water and gave a bit of life to these fish. Then I came along and when I came along, the fish were looking very bad, but at least they were the right way up. Um, I found a lot of rotting prawn in the back of the tank because obviously um, they either spat out or went off their food once the water got too cold, which is very normal. And then I've done two water changes in a row because the ammonia level was very high and the water was very acid. So what I was very worried about is raising the pH while I had ammonia. Because if you raise pH with ammonia in the water, you will make the ammonia more toxic. So therefore it's going to um, be very, very risky. So I took that risk. I did two water changes. I absolutely improved the water, but it was still too late for one of them. Because fish have have immune systems and it takes time for their immune system to come back um just because you fit, improve a situation it actually takes a matter of weeks for the immune system to actually return again now i did artificially improve the immune system by adding some vugal so that's actually probably helped and i'm going to dose that again now and i'm going to dose some extra gh conditioner because extra salt in the water is going to help these fish as well. I'm also going to five times dose this water ager because that'll detoxify any ammonia that's left in the water. So whenever you have a problem, most problems take time to occur and most problems take time to fix. So it really isn't the case that I can just come here once and magically fix the fish. It is the case that usually it takes a series of improvements to actually make them better, but... In time, they will actually get better. So I'm really hoping the immune system of these fish is not too late. And I'm hoping to save these three. So these test results are an absolute best case scenario for this situation. So the KH is good. The GH is good. Um, the PH is almost good. Um, phosphate's still high. The ammonia is going down. Um, we're starting to get some nitrite now, and that's expected because the ammonia will break down into nitrite. Nitrate is coming down. So what this tank needs is a five times dose of water ager added every day to detoxify the ammonia and nitrite. And it needs water changes daily, if possible, until the water is right. We need this ammonia down. We need to bring the pH up. Then we can get these animals sorted. But while the water is acidic and while there is ammonia in the water, the fish will maintain at risk. We need to get rid of the bad situation. We don't need to be feeding right now. And then once the ammonia is gone and the pH is up and the nitrite's gone, then the immune system of the fish can start to return and then the fish can start to become healthy again. In the meantime, I would be dosing Vugal daily to artificially jack up the immune system and I'd be crossing my fingers because we are not out of trouble until the water's been good for a few weeks and the immune system is returned.